All right, Miss G has joined me, and it's time for entertainment. I'm sure she has some exciting stories coming up. Hello. Definitely, I do have some stuff coming up before the weekend. Now, you know that on Tuesday or Wednesday, one of the things I told you about the slap, a kaswa, during yeah. the sala uh, festivities. Now, the organizers of that event have come to deny there was a slap. They say. Oh, so what happened? Well, they say it was just a touch. Oh, just takes me back to some story. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'm sure you tell me about that story. But here's a conversation Doreen Avio had with the organizers of the show. Yapono was never assaulted or slapped, neither his manager. You know, such occasion. Brindfold the entertainment. Uh, it comes with a populated number of fans, therefore, on stage, a fan actually hits the manager behind him at the head. That is what we know because we were present there and we saw everything. There's been also a twist. Mm, but, that, but wait, when you say hit, yeah. because hit, it could be that way yeah. and it could be that way. Yeah. So how was it demonstrated? So either the person touched or slapped the head? It was attached. 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 Because so the man, yeah. This is attached. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. And it has also come into the media or social media saying that Yapono was assaulted on stage. But he even he, didn't know that that act was even going. He was still performing. But it came with a video. I have seen the video. Okay. I don't know if you've seen the video. Uh -huh. And in the video, it shows an arrow mm -hmm. where the man was standing and it looks like somebody hit him. I can't tell, as you said, because yeah. I was not there. Yeah. So with that video that is circulating mm -hmm. online, what makes you think that he was not slapped? Or what you think, did you ask him, like, as to what happened? Yeah, or this is from what you saw or what you From heard? us, what we are saying is the truth. And we want every person to understand that there was nothing like a slap at that day. Were you there? I was there. Were you standing behind the manager? I was there. I was there, together with all the team members, so nothing has such happened. Yeah. Okay, so why do you think that um, something like that will come out that he was slapped? Because I don't think somebody will intentionally say that he was slapped at an event when the person was not slapped. First have of, you gotten in touch with Yaku and his team as well? Yeah, we've gotten in touch with them and we have made an official apology that that incident itself shouldn't have happened. But you know, as far as we are concerned and crowd control as well, sometimes the protocol are broken and that was a typical incident that happened and we actually want to use this medium to uh, apologize that that incident happened to Pono and his team and as far as we are concerned uh, such an act will never happen we were sent by the people of Kaswa the fans of Pono and Kaswa as a large okay as far as I'm concerned they want us to let the people of Ghana as a whole, that they still love him and they even want him back at Cassava 18. That will take place next year. Next year, what are you doing in terms of your security? Experience, as they keep on saying, is the best teacher. We have sat down and we have put in certain things together. <laughs> All right, so time was in this country when uh, apparently at some cabinet meeting, somebody was um, tapped <laughs> on, the, on the shoulder and, uh -huh. his, and his jacket got torn. Just a tap. So that's what they're, some of these taps can be. Well, we have levels of tapping then, yeah. so we, we better be careful whenever we receive touches and taps. Yeah. Anyway, from that, let's talk about uh, women in worship. Now, there's a show that will be happening in September. Women will gather to worship, but they're bringing together some great gospel musicians in Ghana. But the headline at ease is from South Africa. There's more in this report. And slated for September 24, 2017 are the Perez Dome. The maiden edition will feature the likes of Ohima Messi, Dinah Entry Hamilton, Tego Sisters, and other female gospel stars. Madame Georgina Nerti is the CEO of GNET Services. 
headline artist is Ntokozo Imabo. She's from South Africa. From South Africa. Why, why is she the headliner? I've listened to her. Any time I listen to Intokozo Imambo, I get goosebumps. And it makes me fall into the atmosphere. So I have chosen her to be the headline artist for Maiden Edition so I can create the impact I want to feel. The purpose of women in worship organized by GNS Services is to create a platform for women to offer thanksgiving to the Almighty. When women leave their voices to praise, there's so much tension in that atmosphere, and it makes the grace descend. We enjoy the Holy Spirit. Others will say that why are you, you know, secluding women from the men? Why are you know making it the worship for everybody else? You said that yes, when women lift up their voice, you know, there's tension in the atmosphere. Doesn't that happen when men lift up their voice as well? It happens as well when men lift their voices. But when you look at Christianity or Christian dom, most of them is being dominated by women. The women do more of the jobs than or understand ministry than the men. It's not limited to women only, even though we say women in worship. Men can come and worship with us. They complement us. Organizers of Women in Worship. As part of its project, Women in Worship will sensitize, screen, and help cure cervical cancer in five regions. Some people have the, how do you call it, the diseases but do not know what they have. So we're trying to create an avenue where they can come and test for this uh, disease and then we'll help the pap smear. Yeah. Is it for free or you're charging something? For we are not charging a penny. It's for free. The concert is also going to be for free. The concert is ticketed. All right. So there, are quite, there are quite a number of artists on the bill. Yes, a lot of them on the bill. But, you know, trending on Facebook today is uh, a picture of Yao Siki preaching in the bus. Finally, somebody went on the bus and found him preaching so the person took a picture of him while he was preaching and posted it on facebook and it's been trending so that's the picture so yeah i think he's preaching you had a co an interview with yes, the guy we, sometime, we, right? we had, yes we did have an interview with him and now he's even moved away from preaching and is back to music but now strictly gospel music he released a, a video recently so he's still on the move oh, preaching yeah. Hmm. Away from that, so I told you yesterday that your ticket had been given oh, yeah. to me. Do you have it? And so let me get you your ticket. You don't have two this time around. You have no reason uh, not to show up at Ebo White's <laughs> play. So if you can see visuals of Ebo White's play running, Damage Goods is the latest play. It's going to be showing um, tomorrow and the second. So. Okay. Where are so your I can decide to go uh, which to You can decide one to go tomorrow. You can decide to go on Sunday. Okay. To go and see damaged goods and so. Right. So thank you very much, Uncle Abu Height. I have my tickets and certainly mm -hmm. I will be there. Definitely, you need to be there. But let's see excerpts of uh, damaged goods uh, on the screen for those of you who haven't seen it yet. Uh, those uh, excerpts of uh, the play you need to go see tomorrow or on Sunday at the National Theatre for eight, only 80 CDs, you get to be there. Now, on the heels of this as well, also happening this weekend is uh, KJTR and Mokola, Mokola versus KJTR. I've seen the promo lots of times. Uh-huh, and a lot of people are talking about it. It's almost like an Accra versus Kumasi thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know how it's going to go, but like you're saying, the teasers are telling a lot about it. Yeah, I get the, I get the impression, okay, so it's between the fine law mm -hmm, students mm -hmm. or the fine lawyers who come out of uh, the Ghana School of Law, yeah. which is uh, at Mokola. Mm -hmm. And then the, those, the streetwise people too who are in uh, KJT, <laughs> who also know how to maneuver the way and find Okay, so I've got a teaser for you. If you haven't seen it yet, let's see it. The honor, my friends here, everybody know him as the arm robber. This man, if you just, he steal you. Sentient. No true or false. He steal you. Your client is an arm robber. Yes, my honor. You know this? Yes, my honor. He showed me pictures of guns, knives, bullets, and other things. Music Legacy Productions presents 2017's most anticipated courtroom comedy series, Kennedy vs. Makola Premier. <laughs> so that's just an essay. I mean, which lawyer will go into the court and, and saying tell, that and your client, client is, is already guilty? <laughs> you know, 
Anyway, so that's it. We're showing at the La Palm Royal Be uh, stage at La Palm Royal Beach. We need to make a date okay. there as well. So that'll be for entertainment. Right, it's, it's going to be things. going on Joy Prime. Yes, okay. it will be airing on Joy Prime. A lot of things happening on uh, uh, over this weekend. And so definitely, I'll tell you on Monday, including the fact that Xylophone Media has signed on five extra people. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. What are oh, they waiting wow. for to sign us? I don't know, Israel. We need to approach them just like Joyce Blessing. Let's go there and they check live, out the they, deal. They, they live on my way to, to yes. the house. I probably should drive past and say, No, I'll join you. We'll drive past there. <laughs> and then we'll say, Hello. I brought you the voice. You got to sign him. I'm his manager. You give me anyway. how many percent? I'll take 90%. I'll give you 10%. Oh, how? Oh, why not? Oh, stop that. The manager takes more than the artist. Really? Uh, yes. Yeah. Where in the world does this happen? When you come to my record label. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that'll be for entertainment, Israel. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ms. G. But we'll be, ha be having you back uh, exactly. on Journeys Interactive. Okay, so up next is Sports with Gary Osman. <laughs>